Hello everyone on this beautiful cold but sunshiny day on the shores of Buckhorn Lake here in Gannon's Narrows. We gather today on Wednesday for worship, part of our new way of gathering together uh, virtually during the emergency um, orders that are here in, our, in the province of Ontario. And so it is Worship Wednesday and it is also Inauguration Day in the United States of America. And it is an Inauguration Day unlike any we have ever seen. And while the word unprecedented has been uttered uh, in the last 10 months more times than I think I've ever heard it in my entire life, this truly today is yet another unprecedented moment in history. And not just for the United States of America. And so our Worship Wednesday, our first Worship Wednesday, remembers the deep division within the United States at this point in history. It watches as the U.S. pulses with violence and disregard for the other, and we remember Scripture that teaches us to love one another, to pray for our leaders, and to work toward justice. And while the words today may be directed uh, specifically for the United States as President Biden and uh, Vice President Harris step into office, they are true for all leaders and all people at all times and in all places. These words seek wise and just leaders. They seek an end to division and hate. They seek to build community and to offer love. And so hear now these words of blessing from the poet John O'Donohue called Blessing for a Time of Conflict. May they transform all of our hearts. When the gentleness between you hardens and you fall out of your belong with each other, May the depths that you have reached hold you still. When no, when no true word can be heard or said, and you mirror each other in the script of hurt, and when even the silence has become raw and torn, may you hear again the echo of your first music. When the weave of affection starts to unravel, and anger begins to sear the ground between you before this weather of grief invites the black seed of bitterness to take root, may your souls come to kiss. Now is the time for one of you to be gracious, to allow a kindness beyond thought and hurt. Reach out with sure hands to take the chalice of your love and carry it carefully through this echoless waste until this winter pilgrimage leads you toward the gateway to spring. My friends, an inauguration is meant to be a peaceful and joyful celebration of the transfer of power. And yet we find this day fraught with emotion fraught with tension, division, and for some, fear. Current President Trump has behaved abominably as the way was paved for him to the Oval Office. He behaved abominably during his term as president and since November and, and, and his electoral defeat. And as he exits that seat of power like a tyrant with a temper tantrum, armed soldiers line the streets on this day of celebration a pandemic continues to surge, threats mount up, causing churches to close for the safety of their people and the names of new leaders and government officials to be guarded and left unannounced until the last moments over concern for their safety. This nation is poised and the choices made today and in the near future will ring out for generations to come. And Biden and Harris step into all this and more, knowing their country is deeply divided. And so we pray, believing in the power of prayer to transform hearts. We invite, we plead with the Spirit to come like a rush of wind and tongues of fire to encourage understanding between people that peace may be known, justice prevail and healing begin. Would you join your hearts in prayer with mine this day? God of history, 
Bless the U.S. president with skill to act with inspiration and insight, becoming a visionary, building our nation and communities in your image. Make them a steward dedicated to justice so that cities and towns resonate with compassion and health, justice and mercy, kindness and peace. Bless the president and vice president with dedication and foresight, fortitude and imagination, along with all of their caucus, to solve the complex issues that threaten our future. Let the weight of the office change them for the good. Let the institutions of the government keep their worst instincts in check. May they lead the people to a time when neighbours embrace, communities thrive, a time when liberty and equality reign supreme. Source and shelter grant safety and security to all nations and communities so that truth and harmony will resound from the four corners of the earth. Let the light of wisdom shine brightly in the halls of power, a beacon of hope for every land and every people. <clears throat> and as we go out to watch the history of this day unfold, to watch our own lives unfold, to do what we can to share the light and love of God during this season of Epiphany, hear these words of blessing from the epistle to the Thessalonian church. <clears throat> May God our Father clear the road to you. And may Jesus pour the love so that it fills your life and splashes over on everyone around you, just as it does from me to you. God, infuse you with strength and purity, fill you with confidence in the presence of God, who is with you, in you, and around you, and abides always as close as the air you take in and the breath you breathe out. Spirit God be with